This video will describe the grammar wizard. The grammar wizard is here, and the purpose of the grammar wizard is to help you write your, your rules. It can only help write rules for the synthesizing grammar. It can't help you write any rules up in the transfer grammar. And it can be somewhat helpful here in the synthesizing grammar. We don't use it much anymore, um, but for new people it can be helpful. And it, it has different options like copy, so this will be a copy feature rule. It can add... Uh, it will create simple spell out rules, meaning there's one prefix, a, a table of, of prefixes and suffixes, etc. Uh, it can do the clitic rules, preclitic, second position clitic, postclitic. It can do a simple movement rule. It can do morphophonemic rules. Let's look at just a few examples. We'll say copy. So we double click there. Let's say we're going to write a rule that copies person and number from subject nouns to verbs. So we'll say number from nouns to verbs. And there's the rule. Uh, we, it's up to us to specify that this has to be the subject noun phrase. And we need to supply a name for the copied feature. And we need to provide a group. Uh, there's the existing groups, or we can provide a new group. Uh, I won't do that now. So it, it sets up the basics for you. If you want this to copy person as well, then you can, and you, you provide a name for uh, subject person or something like that. So that's the idea. It sets up a simple rule for you. Uh, let's look at another example. Uh, table by features means you specify two features, and one feature will be the rows, and the other feature will be the columns. I will say add suffixes. We'll call this gender for nouns, and double click on the features to mark the rows. Let's say we want gender to be the rows and number to be the columns. So now it sets up a table for us with the number across the top and the gender values for the rows. And we provide, again, we select a group or add a new group, and we have to finish filling out the rule. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do, uh, we can do a clitic rule at a, at a preclitic. Uh, we'll say add this to noun phrases. So it just created a, a clitic rule for us. In, gen in English, this is actually a postclitic, and it's up to us to provide the features on the noun phrase. So this has to be a Saxon genitive. So there's a clitic rule. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's look at a movement rule. We'll say uh, move postverbal from the verb phrase to noun phrases. And now we can specify, for example, suppose this is in a question. We can tag this as a content interrogative. And this Noun phrases are special noun phrase. I talked about it in a previous video. We'll, we'll tag it as CP spec. So now it's moving postverbal to this special noun phrase called CP spec. So it can help you with simple rules. Um, as I said earlier, we don't really use it much, but for new people, this can be somewhat helpful.